Wow, we've got a lot of people in already. Oh, hey, Artem. Hello. Hey. Hey. Let me see hey. if I can turn on my camera. I don't know if you guys want to see me. I didn't sleep. <laughs> you didn't sleep? <laughs> well, well, no. I, I lost about two hours of sleep, but I went to bed around midnight and was up by 6 and then lost about 3 to 4.30 because of the oh. kids. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The weekend's harder than the work week, I'm telling you. Hey. <laughs> um, how's everybody doing? Ready for Thanksgiving? Good. People who are in the U.S.? We don't have that here. Yeah. So you, you'll probably have very few people on on Thursday, just as a warning. Everyone, in the, <laughs> I'm sure the dev team will be cranking. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, we have a lot of things to do. So probably bother you less though. <laughs> we'll say that. Um, cool. You want to just start out, Joe? Just talk a little yeah. bit about. Yeah. So uh, app uh, on the app side, uh, Alex has been working on the user profile. Um, that's new. So that's a pretty big change. And with that, he's also um, adding the automated tests. So uh, Artem, um, Alex, and the other. Artem, uh, they have been working together to make that happen. So that's the, the most important thing on the app side. Uh, we have been seeing some errors uh, on Bugsnag, but looks like that's coming from uh, older versions uh, of the app. Uh, Alex fixes uh, bugs once he sees like the, the error happening like 10 times. That's a yeah. number he, he decided because sometimes we may have uh, a bug that happens like once. Yeah. So it's just not worth uh, spending time on that. Yep. Um, yeah, so uh, on the app side, that's it. So uh, it will probably take more time for him to do that because the user profile is a pretty big change. Uh, the next step, I was going to ask you um, if you wanted uh, to do maybe uh, products, maybe having the, the landing pages uh, on the app. Uh, we could do some kind of uh, promotions in there, uh, LMS. discounts, uh, yeah, or, or landing pages to sell. Uh, no, uh, landing page, landing page, uh, just for really for selling, uh, because the LMS will be huge. Um, yeah, to have the LMS on the app. Hey Sam, but hi hey, Sam. So eventually, uh, we're gonna do that, but we can uh, discuss that later. Uh, on the, the, the site uh, side, uh, we have been working on things to help uh, the Drupal 8 migration. So Andre um, made a huge change uh, on the CSS side, uh, which Go helps on, us. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, CSS to uh, SCSS. Yeah. I don't know what that means, but it sounds like a big job. Yeah, so almost 400 uh, files were changed uh, on the pull request. So that's huge. And the site, the site hasn't um, finished yet, so I don't think so. No, no, no it's, it's not. So we can test pretty well that. So it will be fine. Um, so besides that, um, for this week, I hope we can get to go back to the WSO Star module. Uh, which will help us to simplify the entities we have, uh, which also helps the Drupal 8 migration. And I have been uh, cleaning up our modules. So I deleted already like I don't know, 10 or 12 modules were awesome. removed. And uh, I was checking uh, the other ones we have. And for example, just for private messages, we have nine custom modules for that. So we're going to merge them, uh, clean up, remove things so we don't need, um, uh, which again. What is CA, what are people, uh, what tomorrow, do you use for, for private messaging in, in D8? Do you know? Yeah, we don't have the uh, uh, version of the exact same module uh, on Drupal right. 8, but uh, when we started doing the migration, Artem uh, found a solution for that. So there is a, uh, another module that he was able to uh, migrate the, the messages from the one we use on Drupal 7 to the one uh, we're going to use on Drupal 8. Okay. Cool. Um, so, yeah, that's it. So, more cleanup. Tomorrow, uh, Alexander will start. He's the new uh, backend developer who's going to help us with the migration. 
So right uh, now, so you guys are already going full steam ahead in terms of the planning, the outlining, everything. So that yeah. means by early year, early 2020, we guys will have all of December, but there's holidays, obviously. So um, exactly. you have three weeks, basically, left, mm -hmm. um, three or four weeks um, left before we disappear. And then in the new year, how, what do you guys think in terms of timing before we like are ready for the jump? February? I yeah, thinking about that, I was. Um, I think Alexander can um, maybe if we finish the WSO Star module, I was going to talk to the guys about that today. Uh, I think we can just go back to the data migration and see how it's looking now, and then just keep going with data migration. Um, um, Andre um, gave us um, talked to us about a solution he he can use to start doing the twig migration of the templates. Uh, which we can start right away. Uh, we're not going to do that because we have some new designs uh, to push live first. But once that's done, I think we, we're safe to do the uh, template migration. So data and, and templates, uh, we can start right away. Right. And then it's just more the mo it's more the custom modules. That's the yeah. The, yeah. The nightmare. And, and I have more time to keep uh, removing things and just organizing. So okay. uh, I hope that we can start January just doing the, the custom modules migration. Okay. And then when you say the migration, that means like actually just doing all the custom code and prepping it. But then the actual jump probably won't happen until maybe mid or late February. Yes. Or even yes. March. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, all right. Well, we'll try to give you guys enough time to do that. Well, Hannah, I think is close on the at least the forum container design. I don't know how far along she is on the homepage. I'll ask her today. Uh, but I don't know if we're going to be able to apply everything across the site because when she's, she's going to have the new colors and the new like drop downs, all this stuff, it may take a very long time to go into all the template files, like the company database. and Not necessarily. The, the change Andre uh, pushed uh, also helped with that. Okay. So it's more organized uh, the elements we have on the page. Okay, cool. Cool. Great. Um, less variables, I guess, is what he was saying. If it was all variables, like 5,000 no, different variables. Actually, now we, we have variables. Uh, before okay. we had to, like, uh, for each element, we had to set the, the colors. Uh, now he can you just say, okay, now the button will be blue, and he changes in one place, and everything will be the new blue. Great. Okay, that's good. Um, okay, anything else on dev going on? I think that's it. Those okay. are the, the big things. Uh, we, we pushed some uh, updates for the site, but they are um, smaller things. Cool. And then, Sam, for the LMS, uh, we had a few tickets over the weekend, I think, because I killed the Teachable site. And people were like, what's going on? Did we message those people who were in Teachable? I think email them. I think I forgot to do that. I don't. So I don't think we ever intended on doing that because that would just be every single person that's ever bought a course in the last two years. And when someone buys a course, I mean, they still get our welcome email that says, here's how you access it. Yeah, I think people, some people are using, te a couple people are using Teachable and they're like, what happened, you know? And so I'm just worried. Yeah, and so I was going to ask you, like, do we own the URL courses.wallstreetoasis? Because if we could, couldn't we just do a redirect? Yeah, I don't know. Co do. Courses.wallstreetoasis.com? Yeah, the, the courses.wallstreetoasis.com, that's ours, yeah. Can you redirect that to our course So page? let's just, yeah, let's redirect all those links, right? Are, that's a good point. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Because I just think most people aren't using Teachable. I know there's going to be a few, but I don't know if it's worth blasting all those people a no, confusing yeah. message. No, that's much better. Redirect would be much better. I agree. Cool. A um, couple things. A couple other people, Artem, I know you checked this in Infusion stuff. A couple other people didn't have access. It was really just one, I think, actually didn't have access. And so we, the new way to do it to the support team is just to, to use the import tab. I'll share my screen, make sure. Ivy, did, have you, do you know how to do that too? The import screen on the courses? No. I showed, I showed uh, Carolyn this on Friday, I believe. I'm going to it now. But under courses, if you're like, if somebody's like, I don't have access, you can always check their account to see if they do. But if they don't, there's a tab called import users right here. 
where you can literally just drop their email and hit import. So that, that's if somebody wants to change the email that they're that the account um, the the course is associated with, you could quickly do it this way too. So you don't need to create it. There's no more product bought by user. Does that make sense? Okay. So you go no. you go directly to the actual courses um, okay. rather than. And there's an import tab, import users. That's that's the way you can get people access. Okay. Sure. Okay. Um, what else? Um, whoa, blinking like crazy. There we go. Um, what else is going on with uh, with, with everybody else? So social, I think... Uh, or Matt, do you want to talk about kind of what you've been up to and process there with reaching out to universities and sales? I think you're on mute. Yeah, sure. Um, so, yeah, I've been reaching out um, to a few of the individuals that have already signed up for our university sponsorship program um, as a result of us broadcasting that on social when we signed Bristol. So I have a few calls with that. I had two um late last week and i have one later today along with a couple later this week from the 10 that signed up um as well as that going to be um reaching out to about 100 or so universities i've gotten um, direct contact to just via google as well as a few people on linkedin um to try to also um further our university um, partnership that we're doing essentially what this partnership is we're looking to um, you know, partner with them and provide a little bit of monetary, um, some sort of money, a little bit of money towards them, whether it's, you know, 50 bucks or a hundred bucks just to pay for, um, an event and, and, you know, some pizzas or something they want to throw. And then, um, additionally, we also want to provide them discounts to our courses. So I've been speaking with the presidents and asking them where they see most value in, in terms of what guide we offer Patrick, but I was also thinking we could just probably offer them um, you know, $50 off any of our course guides, whichever one they find most applicable, but yeah. um, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But essentially, yeah, we're, the goal is, you know, maybe spend 50 to to $100, um, and that translates to, you know, three or four purchases of our course guide. So we're still um, in the end net, net positive on the initiative. Yeah, and, it's basically trying to do like a little flash sales to all the different finance clubs um, around the country. We're, we tried it with Bristol, and I think it was about break even we sold one um, but that was bristol uk so i think potentially if we find the right clubs it could be more profitable yeah uh, so. so that's a goal to try that out um nathan you want to talk about what we're doing and um the all the thumbnails <laughs> coming through sure thing um so yeah we're working on a new initiative at the moment to kind of get new talent oasis clients uh, we're going to be essentially finding companies that are currently looking for candidates for roles that we think we can get great candidates for um, and then we're going to list the jobs on the website um, without talking to the actual uh, the hiring party um, and then essentially we're just going to get a list of great candidates for that role in that region and then just use those to go to the to the employers and say hey look we've got these great candidates we've got John we've got Sarah you know, they're amazing um, and then hopefully get them on board to actually go ahead and hire those candidates through us. So that's that's kind of the the target. Yeah, for or this. bring us on. Yeah, bring us on as a um, for a minute. So just to basically show them that we have um, the, yeah. the quality of candidates we have, um, so that they um, can bring us on. And if they don't, if they don't want to bring us on, we'll still send things through. It's kind of just developing relationships, so people know about us. So maybe the next time they hire, they they're like, hey, what was that firm? Let me let me go back to them. Um, so that's yeah. the goal. Um, I'm also working on a bunch of thumbnails, so we should have regular snippets out for the various media productions that we do, because at the moment we haven't been doing any of that, we haven't had any, any promotional material for social, so hopefully that, that should change starting this week, so we should have a lot more video to go on social. Yeah, and uh, last week I was walking through with Carolyn to how to do different types of posts, we created this whole... Um, crazy schedule here which is working um in terms of kind of what we're trying to do when and who's sourcing it and who's scheduling it and i think it's going to help a lot because carolyn's gonna be able to go in here and, and schedule these out in the future um such that we have basically at least a at least a couple 
posts, two to three posts hitting a day, no matter what. Um, even if Callie's out or, you know, Callie has, is super busy right now because she's in the middle of like final rounds um, at Evercore at these banks. So she's like having, she's struggling hitting her, um, hitting her numbers. So if we look here, and it's been a couple weeks now because she's in the middle of recruiting season. Um, but yeah, I think for this, I think looks like overall social, we're, we're a little light still, um, but the rest of the places, I think we're doing well. Um, and then Matt, let me know. If this, yeah, Matt, let me know if this is too high for number of group calls completed. It it kind of depends, I guess, what the how hard it is to source new ones once we do that initial batch of a hundred. Um. Yep, yeah, I agree. So I'll keep an eye on it. I'll let you know um, as time goes on. Cool. Um, and then I don't know why this is dollar. Uh, and then basically. Um, everything else. Well, Thanksgiving week, our our active users have taken a dip, but we're still up year over year, which is good. You can see we actually passed last year because Thanksgiving was here. So it'll be interesting if we dip below <laughs> or what happens in December. Um, but this is a nice trend to see. Um, I don't. I think the app is actually helping us. We're getting uh, about five to ten, a little over five percent of the activity on the site is now coming from the mobile app and the API. Um, and definitely the anonymous posting, I think has been big Artem, that change that you made. I see that every time I'm reading a thread, every time I read a thread, there's like, I'd say 20% of the people are posting anonymously, not using the username and some, some interesting things too. It's funny cause it's, the username is anonymous, but being able to post anonymously, <laughs> not use your username, makes people even more likely to share, um, which I guess doesn't, which makes a lot of sense. Um, Ivy, Carolyn, anything on support you guys are seeing? That's a recurring theme. Anything that we should fix? That's annoying. No, no, just Nothing? the Ivy link that I sent you. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that that weird one, that weird ticket yeah. for the networking landing page. Yeah, I'll I'll take. Sorry about that. I'll take a look. Okay. Thanks. Um, and then. What else is going on? I think that it can be a quick call this week. I don't think there's much else. Um, oh, the, what about the um, the mentors, Ivy? They're coming in pretty fast, right? Yeah, they are. Yeah. And I have a question, though, regarding the mentor database. Mm -hmm. Yeah, someone searched for corporate finance. So there was a zero result. So I tried searching. It, there was a zero result. So that's, a, that's weird. That is weird. Yeah, yeah. Under under what? Current industry? Yeah, for current industry. Corporate finance. Apply. Corporate finance. Yeah. yeah, I'm checking right now. I see I see results. You do I I, I, I on my end of this zero. Oh, your... I'll share. This is what I'm saying. Break. No, the public profile. Private for the public. Oh public. Public. Yeah. Thank you. So maybe there's something wrong with this. And I think we're about to cross 400 mentors. I graded about, yeah, we're at 390, uh, which is exciting. Corporate finance. Yeah, it's showing zero. That is weird. Yeah. Um, is it potentially because corporate development? Let me see. Hmm. Are we not tagging it? No, that worked. Oh, is it? Uh, hmm. Weird. How do I see multi-page? Do I? Andre, um, is this supposed to keep opening? Like scroll? Can it scroll? Where? On the mentor page. Sorry, which field? I was not looking at the screen. The on the mentor page. So there's a couple issues. It looks like um, when I search corporate finance here, I get zero results. It looks like maybe it's just looking at the people on this page. Mm, no, shouldn't be like that. So corporate finance, right here, is one person with corporate finance. So if I do corporate finance, zero. 
Let me see if I do banking. That looks low too. Something's going on. Oh, your 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 screen is frozen here. Okay. I'm not seeing anything. I'll try sharing again. Sixty six looks low. Corporate finance is showing zero. So it's like it's is it getting just a portion of the people? It's possible, Patrick, that it's only pulling people. Didn't we set parameters? Like it's only going to pull people that have like a certain number of sessions or a certain rating and stuff like that because we wanted to hide everyone that wasn't active in the database. No, if they have a score, they're, they're there. If they have an internal score, and I always give them an internal score, an initial internal score, which is a guess, um, they should show up. And it was at 360 I, or 370. I scored a bunch. It jumped up to 390. So that counts working. So they're in there. I just, how do I even go to the next page of people here? Just scroll down. You're frozen again. We can't see. Scroll down. You try, Joe. <clears throat> Checking. Anyways. Oh, weird. I unshared the screen and it started loading. Let me see if that helps. Corporate finance. No, still zero for corporate finance. So something's wrong with the... Okay, we're going to take a look there. With the filters, yeah. I, I just filtered by senior mentor, and it says didn't filter anybody out. Yeah, it's still zero. Mentor, regular mentors, it's zero. This, yeah, the, the filters are all messed up for some reason. Well, the region looks correct. Let me try the. Whoa, weird. Yeah, it's wrong. So if I type in yeah. cor corporate finance into the search, the keyword search, yeah, there's there's a lot. Looks like there's a lot of bugs there. Yeah. Uh, I guess I worked on that view. Uh, unfortunately, we have uh, that uh, mentor search uh, for the users and for the admins. It's the same view, and I was fixing filters on that uh, display for the uh, admin users. And probably uh -huh. I overridden some some fields. I will uh -huh. check. No, no. I will share screen one second. For example. Mm. Uh, do you see my screen now? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, um, if you look at, for example, this matter, uh, there's session about field current industries. So, here is current industries, private equity, and uh, past industries, corporate yep. finance is existing here, here, but this field searching only by current industry. So, uh, need to check uh, uh, maybe. There is no mentors with current industry where corporate finance. That's there's probably not the case. I'm guessing there, out of the four hundred. Yeah, there's also a bug with the, the count, man. Uh, take a look. If you change that to the I don't know, private equity, uh, it's gonna show you I don't know, eighty nine, but then the result will be just three. Mm. So that there's really a problem there. If you scroll down, oh, you see all. So yours is loaded. Jal, I had issues. Ah, uh, no, it's, I said that's uh, what didn't work for me. So it was not lo uh, the infinite scroll. It didn't scroll for me either for a while, Jal, too. No, pri no private equity is working, actually. So what was the other one I checked? Corp corporate finance. Uh, no, corporate finance is just really zero. For me, uh, there was one search I did here that just uh, showed it, me. Through. It should it should search past industries as well. Is that possible, guys? Like if, uh, if we're person, gonna have to change the we're gonna have to change the futures um, to mm -hmm. include uh, past industries. No, well, current Patrick, why past. can't we just do any industry? Like right. if it's tagged with any sort of industry. Yeah, if it's current or past, if they have that. Because it does say all industries. It doesn't say current industry at the top. Right. And I can't sort by sessions on the top right. 
well, let me click on it. And if it does, then the industry goes away. And if I re-click on it, then it goes back to yeah. ranking. Uh, we're going to take a look on the, the search there, see what, what's going on. And should we include then the, the past industry? Yes. Yes, yes please. Okay. Because that's oftentimes people are in an industry, but the, all their mentees, all the people they mentor are in investment banking or private equity. They could be in venture capital or consulting, but the, most of the people they mentor are in banking, for example. Yeah. So, yeah, it's important that those people get pulled up. Mm -hmm. um, okay, cool. Uh, what else is going on? Anything else, Ivy? That's it. Thanks. Okay. Um, okay. Well, I think that's it, guys, for this week. And yeah, we'll just, I'll be on, um, I'll be on through Wednesday and then back on a little bit on Friday too. But, you know, for anybody who wants to take the time, take the time for those of, those of us in the U.S. <laughs> that are going to be celebrating this year. Um, all right, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Vince. Thanks, bye. All right, bye, guys. Talk to you. Bye. 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 And thanks to you, my listeners at Wall Street Oasis. If you have any suggestions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to send them my way, patrick at wallstreetoasis.com. Until next time.